Hi there. So let's continue our lesson with uh, the basic scanning. Okay. So this is the basic scanning techniques. First, I'm going to explain about pin sweep, then followed by the network scan, and finally port scan. Okay. So what is actually pin sweep? Now, this technique, ping sweep, usually used to identify if the hosts are alive on a network using their IP addresses. And the method is normally to ping many hosts at once. So for example, if there's a network with a network ID of 192.10, then you can actually ping the entire hosts that are alive or I would say uh, live uh, hosts on the same network. Okay. And the next one is about the network scan. Yeah. So, network scan refers to the process of obtaining additional information and performing a more detailed reconnaissance based on the collected information in the footprinting page. Yeah. Uh, in this phase, a number of different procedures are used with the objective to first identify hosts, the ports, and services on the target network. Okay. Now, uh, the network scan may be easily followed by looking at the host, the port, and services running on the target host, uh, and then to get more details uh, information you can actually do port scanning or port scan which is a method for determining which port on network are open uh, specifically on host uh, as ports on computers are the place where information is sent and received port scanning is analogous to knocking on doors to see if someone is uh, home or at home Okay, so I'm going to show you the uh, demonstration. Uh, first, uh, I'm actually using uh, my Kali. So let's check my IP address by typing ifconfig eth0. My network is this. This is actually based on my uh, DHCP running on my VMware. So I need to set the my IP with a static IP address. I have, uh, you know, used uh, or created a uh, simple script. Yeah, call dot my IP. Yeah, so so I don't have to repeat this every time I run the uh, Kali. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so this is my IP one nine two one six eight. Sorry, one three one one zero seven dot one dot two five two five two. And it has the route to other networks. So let's try route. Yeah, uh, it does not actually show me anything, but uh, you know, route. Uh, hmm. Perhaps I can just use the routing tables uh, with the. Um, numeric so an n but let me just ping uh let's say one nine two one six eight or something uh let's just do the uh, ping sweep okay so i'm going to start with the ping sweep which has the uh, objective of finding any live host on the same segments or even on different segments okay let's try Let's try uh, to use this. Uh, the easiest way is actually using the Nmap. Nmap is a you know is a is a tool that can uh, you know do ping sweep, network scan, as well as port scan. So Nmap dash n dash n here is actually used to skip the uh, name resolution. So uh, because we'll be uh, we'll be pinging uh, or we'll be uh, assessing the IP address rather than the names. So nmap, then you can specify the range uh, sn. This is actually ping sweep. The dash sn is to uh, to do ping sweep. Then you can uh, use the one three one one zero seven one dot 
one uh, dot zero slash ninety four. And if you know the range or, or other range, and if you want to, you know, uh, extend uh, the scans to different range, you can put like one into one six eight dot one dot zero slash ninety four, or maybe like ten dot ten dot one dot zero slash twenty four, something like that. Yeah. So this is the pin sweep. Okay, so we got some IP addresses here are the results, okay? And beside Nmap, you could also use the tool called NetDiscover. Uh, you just simply run NetDiscover without any option. Oops, it says that I need to run as root, so just use this sudo and put a password. And while waiting for the scans to run, uh, we can review the uh, results. Yeah. So it's going to scan 192.168.1.something to 131.107.1.something and then 10.10.something. .10 Any, uh, what do you call this, uh, range uh, will be scanned. Yeah. So this is the... Uh, Ping sweep. Yeah. So network scan. Uh, so let's move on to network scan. Network scan uh, combines port scanning and this uh, and map. So you could actually do uh, uh, the uh, scanning by utilizing and map. So instead of using the SN, we'll be using the and map dash N. Then you can specify the one three one one zero seven dot one dot zero slash twenty four one and two one six eight. 1.0/24 and 10.10.1.0/24. So this is actually the uh, simplest way of doing the uh, network scan. So why is it uh, known as network scan? Because you are actually scanning for you know the uh, live hosts as well as the ports, as well as finding what are the services running on those ports okay uh, in fact it's uh, it combines the uh, port scanning as well as the you know uh, ping sweep right so of course if you already know the uh, target so for example my target is this i could you know easily use the next step which is the uh, port scan uh, so you can do like uh, this port scan command let me just uh, Put this somewhere, yeah. So you can do like uh, n map, then you specify dash n to uh, you know skip the uh, name resolution. Then you can specify the complete command to get the uh, IP address. I mean the uh, services or applications running on a specific uh, host. So by using the dash a, that will actually tell you. If you don't know anything about n map, just type n map. And then, yeah, you can look at the options, you know. So I'll, I'll be using this uh, dash A to enable uh, operating system detection, version detection, and so on. Yeah. So basically, it will do almost everything. So N dash A, then, yeah, you can scan one single IP or the entire uh, range of uh, IP or the, the subnet just by typing uh, 0 slash 24 if you want to scan everything but to speed up uh, because we'll be using the a that will also run scripts so i'll just focus on a single host as my target so hang on for a while yeah all right so this is the result of my net discover which also shows me almost the same uh you know uh results okay now, beside Nmap, uh, you could, uh, did you know that you could also use, uh, you know, different uh, tool to do the scanning? Like, let me introduce you with the HPing uh, 3, yeah, so HPing, okay, dash H. So HPing is also, uh, you know, has the ability, uh, it has the ability to do, uh, you know, port scanning, uh, network scanning, as well as ping sweep. 
So let me just introduce you with the a very simple uh, way of scanning the target. Just copy this, yeah. And let's modify. Yeah, so paste the clipboard and if you look at the age here, um, sorry. Yeah, so uh, dash scan also uh, the same as the dash eight, which is which will actually do the normal scan. So if you want to scan by utilizing the ICMP, you can use the uh, dash one or dash dash ICMP. So let's try this one. Copy again. And then paste it, paste it at three. And you can specify the port like, okay, I want to scan port zero, uh, let's say one up to 1024, depending on how many ports you want to scan. Or you can just put 65535 port. And you can specify the target, which is 131107, let's say, or let's just use different target, 192.168.1.125 which is uh, the which is one of the hosts uh, alive in my network uh, let me see pseudo okay tux all right so this is the result of the hping 3 okay and of course you can just change the uh, ip of your target to get the result okay so you can compare the result of the nmap and this one. And of course, we're still running the uh, dash A. Dash A here will really give you a very good result. Almost everything will be uh, tested, okay? So it's going to take a while, yeah? And did you know that you can actually use uh, the uh, HPing to actually test whether you know a specific target allows ICMP or not by just uh, changing the. So for example, here I'll just use the dash dash ICMP and remove this one. And you can use the target. Yeah, see that one. So this is to test whether a specific host allows ICMP. Uh, or not yeah um, I would uh, suggest that you refer to the uh, nmap uh, what you call this um, manual yeah if you don't know anything about this uh, you could actually go to the uh, just open up your browser and type nmap.org and go to the main document here yeah, the latest version is seven point something. Yeah, and you can find the uh, reference guide in many different languages, including uh, English. This is the original one. Yeah, so it shows you a lot of information about Nmap. Then for HPing, you can actually use the HPing three uh, tutorial. Uh, that explains about the usage okay so great stuff here hping can be used to do firewall testing advanced port scanning network testing using different protocols fragmentation manual path mtu discovery advanced trace routes remote os fingerprinting <clears throat> the uh, remote uptime guessing tcp ip stack auditing as well as for student that learns TCP IP. Of course, uh, my favorite is always Nmap. And Nmap can be used for many different purposes, including to uh, evade firewall IDS. You see this one? Firewall IDS efficient. Uh, you can also use it for basic scanning, operating system detection, or take advantage of the Nmap scripting engine, NSE, uh, to do, for example, uh, vulnerability scan by utilizing the NSE. Yeah, I'll be uh, coming up with um, uh, Nmap scripting engine tutorial. Yeah, hopefully within uh, the week. All right. So let's check the result. 
yeah now we got a complete result <clears throat> showing you the wow almost everything so this is the command and shows me the port the state the service name the version and then also runs uh, several you know scripts that will do the testing on different protocols and uh, also come up with the um, like for example operating system uh, detection as well okay so that's uh, for now so in this uh, video we learn about basic uh, you know scanning which starts with the ping sweep then the uh, let me just repeat so we start with the um, ping sweep uh, with the uh, nmap net discover net, net discover and then uh, we do network scan by using nmap and then port scan by utilizing nmap as well as the uh, hping3 all right i hope it is uh, useful it will be useful for you uh, especially if you are new to ethical hacking this is a very good uh, technique to learn about uh, what you call this the reconnaissance process or information pro uh, information uh, gathering process yeah so i'll see you on my next video bye bye